Hello, my curly girls. Um, today's discussion, this is a little discussion, and please um, chime in in the comment section to for all my oil guru, curly girl gurus out there who um, may know a little bit more or can give, you know, some more information on this. But my question is, is there a difference? Okay. And sorry, my eyes are itchy. The um, oil that I'm going to be talking about is extra virgin olive oil. Now, we all use extra virgin olive oil in our hair or body or to cook, you know, to use in our food. Um, I use it in my oil mixtures for my hair and sometimes in a deep conditioner that doesn't feel very moisturizing, I will put um, the extra virgin olive oil in it. So I read a young lady's um, Instagram that I follow, and I can't remember what her name is, but um, she said that she had her husband had came across a brand of extra virgin olive oil and that he hunted it. He hunt the olive oil down until he found it. Um, to me, prior to reading her post, extra virgin olive oil was just extra virgin olive oil. I really didn't know there was a difference. But she put in her post that to make sure when you're getting olive oil that is doesn't have GMO in it. And GMO is genetically modified. Okay, so I'm just going to read to you some facts that have been published about extra virgin olive oil. And then I will come back with what my take on it is. So GMO soybean oil is a soybean that... Um, has had DNA introduced into it in a way other than combination of male and female uh, gam gametes. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm thinking it's seeds, male and female seeds, or, you know, however they reproduce. Which, which is shocking, okay, which will, after I read these, will come to, you know... Um, my thoughts and my information is that 70% of extra virgin olive oil sold worldwide is watered down with other oils and enhancers, making it far from virgin. Now, um, when I first read some of these facts, I thought to myself, does it really matter if you're not consuming it and you're just putting it in your hair? But after reading all of this, I kind of think it does, but let me finish reading it. Um, manufacturers are selling genetically engineered oils that are toxic to your health. In 2012, Australian researchers tested olive oils and every brand that submitted the oils failed the test and none of them were pure. In 2011, UC Davis tested 124 oils and found two thirds of common brands of extra virgin olive oil sold in California were not virgin and many of the many of them had GMO soybean oil and GMO canola oil. Now I cook with canola oil but can you imagine putting canola oil in your hair or on your body you know if you're mixing this like in your body um oil mixtures creepy in 2008, 85 farms were confiscated and 23 people arrested for oil fraud. Last year, a well-known Spanish extra virgin olive oil company was busted and two business owners went to jail for selling supposed extra virgin olive oil that was really a mix of 73% sunflower oil. Now, um... From the post that I read, sorry, it says how to recognize genuine extra virgin olive oil. 
and it's five ways. And it says one, be suspicious, be suspicious of any extra virgin olive oil that costs less than $10 a liter. Um, two, look for a seal from the International Olive Oil Council, IOC. Three, look for harvesting date on the label. Four, anything labeled light, pure, or a blend isn't virgin quality. And five, shop for oils in dark bottles. It says also a tip, extra virgin olive oil solidifies when it's cold. If you put it in your refrigerator, it should become cloudy and thicken. And it also says for people that cook with extra virgin olive oil, which is me, it says you should not cook with it, which I do. I didn't know. Um, best oils to cook with is coconut oil, organic pasture, butter, ghee. I don't know what that is. And red palm oil. And I have, that was, red palm oil is something that I do want to try for my hair. I only saw one YouTuber that has used it, but... It's been something that I've been looking at. And um, yeah, so the brands that I have been using have been Jim. And this is one of the cheaper brands and I do not see <laughs> a, um, a harvest date on here. Um, it's not in a dark bottle. Also, one of the tips that the, the young lady on Instagram gave was that if you taste extra virgin olive oil, when you swallow it, you will feel like a um, like a heat sensation in the back of the mouth. And I did feel that with this one because I went and tested it. It is cold pressed. But it has none of the other qualities, you know, like, I don't know if this was $10. I can't, I had this for a while, so I don't know how much this costs, but it's not in a dark bottle. It doesn't have any of the seals or harvest date or anything like that. So after I read that, um, I went, when I went food shopping, I went and purchased this. And because it was in a dark bottle, this was pretty expensive. I think this was like $12, $13 or something like that. And it's um, 25 ounces. And this one does not have a harvest date on it. It just says Best Buy February 2016. And this is the info that's on the back of this bottle. So then when I went food shopping again this month, the month of October, I got this the month of September. When I went food shopping again, I finally found the one that she was talking about. And it's the California Olive Ranch. This was the one that she was saying her husband hunt down and actually found it. And you can order this online as well. And I believe they have this at VitaCost. And this big thing was a lot was about, I don't know, between $13 and $15, I believe. I can't remember. But um, as you can see on the back of this, it says non-GMOs um, verified. It does have a, where are you, where are you, where are you? A harvest date in the in the black label right here. Um, and um, yeah, and then it tells you about how their olive oil tastes, like fine wine, natural fruit, sediment may occur. And you can buy this at CaliforniaOliveRanch.com. You probably could find this at Whole Foods. Um, I believe I saw it on VitaCost as well. And of course, this is a farm out of California. This is California Olive Ranch and it's extra virgin olive oil. So, and this, this is a bonus. I think you get a little bit more 
for it. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's in a dark bottle and she swore by this stuff. Um, I do cook, use this in my food as well as, as I said, on my hair. So to my commentary, <laughs> to you, do you think that after all of the facts that I read, is there a difference in these extra virgin olive oils? Um, you know, if they're pure or not, I know for myself after reading some of this stuff that, um, it was a little bit horrifying. I mean, as far as like cooking, you know, stuff, some of them that may not be a hundred percent and it has canola oil in it. I cook with canola oil. So I don't, it's probably genetically modified as well because I buy the cheapest brand <laughs> and I don't even know if it makes a difference. But um, with that being said, if that's the case, because I use canola oil when I'm cooking with it, it may not be a big deal because what I'm using may be GMO anyway, the canola oil, but in my hair, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to use it just horrifies me to know that you know I may have been using like canola oil you know you don't know what some of these oils are mixed with be, unless you have some science lab to test them so when you're looking for an oil for your hair like if you don't care what you cooking with or if you don't mind GMO or whatever the case may be as far as like cooking with it because it is a big debate whether genetically modified foods causes health risk but um i think a lot of ladies put a lot of time and energy in their hair and you know buy a lot of these products to put in their hair that's all natural you know um that don't have chemicals in them or you know stuff that's bad for your hair and it's just horrifying to think that some of these oil companies that we use on our hair that we can also use to cook with maybe put in oils and products other products inside the oils that you do not put on your hair <laughs> um so I will continue to just spend the money to buy. Um, I'm not sure about the olive and co. Um, it is in a dark bottle. It doesn't have, it just have a Best Buy. I don't see the seal or the label, but I don't know. So I don't know. I may just continue to just buy as long as, you know, my Walmart, because I found this at Walmart actually, and they had a smaller bottle too. So I may just continue to be on the safe side and hope, hopefully the this is not one of the farms that's duping people and using canola oil, GMO, canola oil and soybean oil, you know, and it's selling fake extra virgin olive oil. Um, there was also, so I may continue, sorry to jump around. So I may continue to just, to just look for this one. And when I run out, just if I can't find it at Walmart, you know, find it at VitaCost or go to the um, California Olive Ranch site. And here's the web address. California Olive Ranch dot com. As you can see, it has all of the signs that I mentioned you should look for, um, including the California uh, Olive Co Council seal. One second. Sorry. I'm sorry. That was my son. So, um, no, this is the California Olive Ranch. It said look for international 
I don't see international, but I see California Olive Council. And this one says International Olive Oil Council. I guess you can't get it all right. I don't know. But there was also another site that um, I had found. It's called RadiantLifeCatalog.com. And I will put that in the, in the description box. And they sell a lot of oils and products, you know, cooking stuff as well that we use. And the name of the oil was Barry, Bariani Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And it was a half a liter for $14.50 and one liter for $26.95. So as you can see, it's really expensive. But if you're just using it for your hair, it'll last you a very, very, very long time. I mean, this one right here because you got a little bit more 25.4 ounces this one right here is a 32.9 but you get 30 percent more as a bonus it wasn't a pack it's just that they give you more and like i said this maybe was about 13 to 15 dollars for this size right here um and I was kind of hesitant on whether I should even buy it, but I just wanted to try it. And I do use it in my foods as well. Um, so, yeah, so that is, this video is like almost 17 minutes long. So that is my vid on, you know, my information on extra virgin olive oil. As I said, some of my... Um, oil gurus out here, out there. Um, if you could kind of chime in on this, um, what you think about the information that I just gave, um, does it make a difference? You know, which olive oil you extra virgin olive oil you put in your hair? Does it have to, does it really matter if it has all of these symbols or if it's pure? Um, as I said, I think so because you don't know what they're mixing it with. You know, um, as I mentioned, some of them were mixing it with genetically modified canola oil. Um, <laughs> so give me your thoughts. Um, I just want to thank my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, you don't know really how much this really means to me when I first started. I didn't think I was going to have one fan let alone over a hundred now, you know, watching my videos. Um, so I really do appreciate it. Um, please like my videos and leave your comments in the box below. Deuces. Oh, P.S. Ty, thanks for the green lock sock again. Darling. Mwah.